Today we're going to discuss installing a Brayburn touchscreen thermostat on a multi-stage heat pump system using balance points. Now this particular model is a Brayburn 6400. It's a four heat, two cool heat pump thermostat or it can be used on three heat, two cool conventional systems as well. Now uh, this particular model also has humidity control and we also have a Brayburn model 5490 outdoor temperature sensor connected. And that's why you see the outdoor and humidity touch pads lit up in the screen. Now for balance points uh, you need an outdoor sensor connected. Uh, you cannot uh, adjust balance points without an outdoor sensor. Now the first thing you'll want to do when you uh, connect the Rayburn thermostat is you want to configure it for the particular type of system that uh, you're installing it on. To get into the installer settings you press and hold the system and config touchpads for approximately four or five seconds. Now we've done a separate video on the installer settings so we're not going to go through every installer setting in this video. We're only going to go through one specific to a multi-stage heat pump and balance points. So to scroll through the different installer settings I'm going to use the next button and I'm going to search for my system type which is here. Now out of the box the thermostat is configured for a one heat one cool conventional system and as I said we're installing this on a multi-stage heat pump so as you can see we have single stage heat pump, two heat two cool heat pump, three heat two cool heat pump and a four heat two cool heat pump. We're going to install this on a three heat two cool heat pump system which essentially is a two compressor heat pump with one auxiliary stage. We're going to press next to go to the next setting. Here we have our differential for the first stage, our differential for the second stage and our differential for the third stage. Now here we have the type of emergency heat whether it be electric or gas. Now in this particular uh, setup we're going to set this up for fossil fuel or gas emergency heat. Pressing next brings us to our reversing valve selection. Uh, we have O for a cool active reversing valve or B for a heat active reversing valve. We'll press next again and now we are, uh, the thermostat is asking us what kind of auxiliary heat we have, uh, electric or gas. As we stated we have gas auxiliary. But this selection is uh, a little more than just asking what type of auxiliary heat you have because we already did that with the emergency heat selection. This is asking if we want the compressors to shut off after a call for auxiliary heat. And in gas mode that's what will happen. In electric, the compressors will continue to run with the call for auxiliary heat. In gas, the compressors will shut off after one minute of auxiliary heat operation. And that's typically what you want with a fossil fuel backup. Next again, we have our compressor short cycle protection of five minutes. We can adjust that from zero through five. And we'll scroll through a few of these options that we've discussed in another video already that don't pertain specific to the heat pump system. Here we have our humidity on or off, our dehumidity. Now here's our first balance point. This is our balance point C, which means balance point for the compressor. Right now we have none. And we can select a temperature of 15. And I'm going to bring this up to 35 degrees, just for, uh, for an example in this particular application. Set the balance point for 35 degrees. So therefore, if it falls below 35 degrees, the thermostat will not let the compressor operate. It will uh, only run the auxiliary stage, or in this case, the gas backup, the fossil fuel backup stage. Next we have our balance point A. That's an auxiliary balance point. Now that is an upper end balance point that you can set. I um, believe it's 40 through 70. And here we'll set this for 60 degrees. And what that does is if it is above 60 degrees out, uh, the thermostat will not allow the auxiliary heat to come on. It'll only let the compressors run. So even if the um, homeowner brings the temperature up 10 degrees, it's still only going to let the compressors run, not the auxiliary stage. Of course, in emergency heat mode, the uh, emergency heat will still operate. Next again, we have our high heat limit or low cool limit and we can press back if we want to go back to one of the selections and make another change. Next to go forward and return to exit. So now we have been set up for a three heat two cool heat pump with um, gas backup heat 
and we have selected a compressor balance point of 35 degrees and an auxiliary balance point of um, 60 degrees. And we can see we can turn our system on to heat and we can bring our temperature up to one degree above and we'll see that our heat will turn on and our fan is turned on with it. Now if we bring the temperature up above our second stage differential, two more degrees, we'll get our auxiliary heat or our second compressor to run. Um, and if we bring it up our third stage differential, another two or three degrees, we'll get our third stage of heat or our fossil fuel heat, our gas backup heat to run. Um, now in this particular case, our third stage of heat is not operating and that is because it is above 60 degrees outside. It's 66 degrees. We set our auxiliary balance point at 60 degrees. If it happened to be 56 degrees outside, then heat on an aux would appear in the screen indicating that the third stage, the gas backup heat, was functioning. Now if we switch this to emergency heat, now our compressors have shut off and our gas backup heat is running on emergency heat. And of course we can select cool and off to shut the system down. So that's about it with setting up a multi-stage heat pump system with balance points. If you uh, need more information on the subject, you can see the installer manual and user manual. And you can get more information and downloads at www.braeburnonline.com.